hey lovelies welcome back to my channel so this is vlogmas day 9 and we are still going strong so in today's video i'll be cooking kokoyam porridge so guys without wasting much time let's get started So the first thing you have to do when you want to make this meal is to peel your kokoyam. That is the first step you have to take. So kokoyams are two type. Um, we have the one that draws when cooked and we have the one that you can eat directly as yam. So um, in this recipe, I'm using that particular one. I don't know what they call it, but if you know what they call this particular kokoyam that we eat directly, let me know in the comment section, okay? So guys, how do you differentiate the kokoyam that we use to make soup and this one that we eat directly? What is the name? When you are going to buy them, what do you call them? Because I know all of them as eat the kokoyam so i don't know how to differentiate it i don't know what they call it so if you know it tell me on the comment section so i'll continue peeling the kokoyam till i'm done with all of them so kokoyam is a good source of vitamin and it also boosts the immune system for those that are asking the nutrient value of kokoyam so kokoyam also contains vitamin c and vitamin b6 and it also helps to regulate the blood pressure and also help the muscle and the nerves. Kokoyam is a good source of potassium and magnesium. So that means kokoyam is good for the body. So I made a little research about kokoyam and that is exactly what I studied. But you can also ask for the nutrient value of kokoyam okay so lovely people if you are coming across this channel for the first time you are highly welcome and for my returning subscribers you guys are the best thank you for stopping by also thank you for watching my videos okay thank you guys for the support you've shown to this channel especially now that we are on vlogmas i truly truly appreciate you guys please do where to do the good stuff by clicking the subscribe button to join the family and also don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up like share because when you share you also share the knowledge with others okay thank you very much i love you guys so much so right now i'm done peeling the cocoa yam that is the first step as you can see the cocoa yam is dirty so the next thing i have to do is for me to wash the cocoa yam thoroughly so right now i'm done washing the cocoa yam can you see the before and after so right now the cocoa yam is very clean like if you look at it you will know that it is thoroughly washed so the next thing i will do is for me to cut the cocoa yam into cubes so when cutting this cocoa yam you have to gather all your strength because this cocoa yam is too strong <laughs> it is very very strong So right now I'm done cutting the cocoa yam. The next thing I'll do is for me to transfer it into my bowl and move to the other stage of cooking. So here into my pot I have a little water. Then I'll be placing my pot on top of my stove. Then after that I'll be adding the cocoa yam. So because I need this cocoa yam to cook very soft, I'll be adding water gradually as it cooks. So I don't want to add too much water because I don't want to have a running porridge. I want the porridge to be thick. So after that, I'll cover it and allow it to steam up a little. Then I'll be adding my diced onions, my pepper mist, my crayfish. Then I'll be adding salt, my seasoning cube. I'm using um, chicken no and ordinary no. After that, I'll stir everything together to make sure that they are well combined. Then I'll cover it for it to cook for about 10 minutes. So this is 10 minutes later. The porridge has already come together, but the kokoyam is not yet ready. So here I'll be adding my red oil. In this recipe, you need to use a very good oil or else you'll be having the taste of bad oil in the porridge. So after adding the red oil, I will stir together. And also, 
I'm not using much red oil because I don't want the porridge to be so oily. So after adding the oil, I'll cover it for it to boil for extra 10 minutes. So now my porridge has started to come together. As you can see, the kokoyam is almost ready. So the next thing I'll do is for me to stir everything together and make sure that every ingredient that I use is well mixed. As you can see, my porridge has no much oil. So I will reduce the heat. Now I'll be adding my fish. In this recipe, I'm using dry micro fish to make this porridge. So I'll add my fish. Then I'll allow it to steam up a little. Then after the fish have steam up, then I'll be adding the next thing, which is my vegetable. So here I'm using pumpkin leaf to make this porridge, but you can use any vegetable that is available to you to make it and it will still come out so delicious. So here I've added the vegetable. Once you add your vegetable, just get set to bring down the, the porridge because you don't have to overcook the porridge. So here I'll stir, stir, stir to make sure everything is well mixed together. Can you just see how thick this porridge is? Like this is how I like to have my porridge. I don't like a running porridge. So right now the kokuyam porridge is ready. So the next thing we have to do is for us to serve the porridge. So guys, when I tell you that this porridge is not hard to make, I was not joking. You can make this with little time and it will still come aside banging. So guys, tell me in the comment section if you will try this or if this is what you can have for lunch or dinner. Anyway, I love how this kokoyam porridge came out and the good part is it's very healthy and it's good for both young both old and everybody can eat this and enjoy it even most people prefer this kokoyam to yam like i love how tasty it is it tastes very very nice and i'll tell you to try this so thank you guys for watching if you watch up to this point and please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel like share and also engage on my comment section okay i'll see you guys on my next video bye